Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the Lansing Sports Network. Tonight's or this afternoon's contest will be between the Legacy Lightning and your Fort Collins Lampkins. Sweet 16 matchup in the Chess of Playoffs tonight. Two solid teams. As you can see on the graphic, the Lampkins come in 21 and 3. And the Lightning come in 18 and 6. So they did play a couple weeks ago, and I expect this to be a, a very different game. The last game, Lampkins pulled ahead and stayed ahead most of the game. He ended up winning easily, 73-49. But I would have to say we probably caught Legacy on their worst night, and they caught us Lampkins on our best night. So if you can throw the records out the window in a playoff game, I think this is going to be a tight win all the way around. Gonna get the national anthem here going in just a second. Starting lineups going here in just a minute. Then we'll be ready for some basketball. Isaac Ward, number two for the legacy. And our own JSK. Number three, Christian Grinier. Five Andrew Corner for the left. Yeah. Number five for the lightning, Taven Lopez. Twenty one, Joe Cottingham for the left. Mitchell for the Lampkins. So the other starter for the Legacy Lightning is going to be 33, Ari Harper. 
Harpering. Last game, Legacy was led by number zero, Joey, with the long last name that I couldn't pronounce. Or long last name. Jumping for the lineup against is going to be Luke Wagstaff against Harpering. Harpering's a sophomore. Looks like he's about, he matches Luke's height almost. Hard to tell with the, with the hair, but they're similar sized kids. And we're underway. Lampkins control the tip. Arna, Andrew Corner gets to the cutting game. It looks for Mitchell. Mitchell makes a move. Spins. Scott in the lane. Gets it out to Jace. They don't call three seconds in Colorado, just so you know. The lob to Jamar Mitchell for two points. Lampkins start out with the lob. And two. Wagstaff to Mitchell. The drive. Shot blocked, but recovered by Harper in. Two points legacy. The clock's off. It's Somebody at the clock over there has preseason jitter sticking. It's 23 to 0. Wagstaff with the drive off his leg. to stay right here with the Lampkins. They got to fix the clock. Clock difficulties. Oh, thought I had more. It's now 27 to nothing. I think we're going to get things worked out here in no time. 7.13 left in the first quarter. We have to we have a momentary delay while we get the clock situation figured out. 2-2 two to two is the score. And it's fixed. Looks like we're ready for some basketball. Four Collins inbounds to Cunningham. Dribble drive. Hands off to Jamar. He's going to drive. Makes a move. Gets it poked. Recovers. Looking for Wagstaff. He's double covered. Can't get it to him. Gets it over to Andrew. Back to Jamar. Down to Luke. He's going to spin. Backdoor cut. Joe to Cunningham. Two points. Cunningham. And a foul. Let's see. We're going to count the bucket. Two points and a foul. One free throw attempt for Cottingham. So if Legacy's going to double team Wagstaff, they're going to have that back door open all night long. They've already exploited it twice. Free throw attempt by Cottingham is nothing but net. Legacy brings it up. Take the three. That gets trapped. Ward with the ball. Director of traffic gets his arm free. Over to Lopez. Triple drive. Out for three points. Three points as a Ward. Tied up to five. Mitchell on the wing gets it to Cottingham. Over to Andrew. Working the ball. Patiently working it. Spin, double team, back doors open. Cottingham backs up and three. Short rebounds going to go to Lightning. And they go the other way. Spreadling with the rebound. Bringing the ball around. Ward thought about it. Maybe our uh, pretended he thought about it. One of the two. Cut the harboring. Corner three. Good. Isaac Ward from three. He has six points. Trying to get down to Wax Heavy. He's quickly doubled. Looking for the back door cut. Nothing. Keeps the baby hook up with no good. Rebound Cottingham. Two points to Cottingham. The garbage man. Cleaning up the glass. Just over five minutes until the end of the quarter. And we're still in the first quarter here at the Lamb Shack.
Harf or Spreadling with the shot, no good. Rebound, gets his own rebound, goes back up with it, and it goes. Two points, Nathan Spreadling. Inbounds the King. Lob to Wagstaff. Back door is stolen by Harpering. Harpering. And here comes the Legacy Lightning. I'll get their points on the board here. Now we're updated. Spreadling with the pump. Nothing there. Gets it down to Harpering. Power up. No good. Rebound Cottingham. Corner is going to bring it up. Looks to drive. Sides against it, pulls out, they're going to run some offense. King's going to get involved. 15 foot floater, no good. Rebound goes to Bregonier. Bregonier? Something like that. The quick pass is broken up by Jace, but we have a foul. Let's see if they put it on the board. Who? They, they aren't putting up the numbers yet, so I don't know if we're going to see that tonight. It's just a shame. That's all right. We'll make it through. I, I think they called on Jays. That was a moving screen, so it's going to be Fort Collins' ball. 4.09 left in the first quarter. Corner's going to bring it up. Legacy playing a man-to-man -man defense. we got a hold on Harpering. Second team foul. Third team foul, they say. I didn't catch the first one. Lob in the Wagstaff. He's going to look for Jamar back door, but he's going to take shoot to three, in fact, and buries it. Luke Wagstaff from three. Puts the Lampkins, or ties up the ball game at 10. Spradling with the drive. Dumps it down to Harpering. Two points legacy. So they do a little backdoor play of their own. Defender came for help and left him alone. Waxhaft pops out. Looking to drive. Hands off to Jamar. Jamar puts on a couple of moves. Gets it over to Jace in the corner. 15 footer. Not good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. Two points Jamar Mitchell. We're tied at 12. It's a seesaw affair. A back and forth affair. It's only the first quarter. I'll relax. Backdoor cut. Good. Nathan Spradling with two. I believe that was him. Andrew drives. Gets you on the back door. Fouled. Shot on the way. Good. Two points in the foul. Cottingham going to line again for a three-point try. Three-point play, I should say. Didn't catch who that was on, but Ward's going out. Well, maybe he's just talking to somebody. Renier went out, so did Harvering. Joey with the long last name is in. Cunningham completes the three-point play. Lamb gets going wide. 2.46 left in the quarter. Now, I, I'll attempt to say Joey's name at some point in the broadcast. Ward with the cut. Good move. Can't complete it. Chase with the long pass over to Wagstaff. is wide open from three. Not there. Good box out by Joey. And they're going the other way. Turnover. 22. Brandon Domps is in. And here comes King the other way. Waxf has a deep. The move. Pump fake. Back door to Jamar. Two points to Jamar. They're going to double him. He's going to make That man's going to be open. He seems content to double right now. We'll see if they make adjustments after the first quarter. Dom kicks it over.
Nathan Spreadling. Joey gives it over to Dumps. We have a foul on Jamar Mitchell. I believe it's on Jamar. It's only the second team foul from four counts. 135 left in the third. First quarter. First quarter. 135. We have sub into the ball game. Harpring's coming in for Bryce Spreadling. Working the ball around. Joey. The drive, the shot, no good. Fouled. Who's that's on Wagstaff? Should be his first, team third. Brandon Domst in line for two shots. 122 left in the first quarter. Checking in the lineup for the Lampkins, number one, Nikki McGuire. Checking in for Jamar Mitchell. And he gets close, free throws the ball. King brings the ball up. Gets Nikki on the wing, looking for Luke, or looking for Andrew, he wasn't there. Quick step up top. Cottingham to King. Three point shot on the way. No good. Rebound's going to go to Cottingham. About his third or fourth offensive rebound. Shot up and good. Joe Cunningham is hot. He may have walked, but he got away with it. In the hard ring, looking for a backdoor. Nicky almost steals it. Gets it over to Joey. Nathan Harpering with the ball. Gets it down the... Or it's Bradley. Gets it down to Harpering. Forces it. No... No basket. Rebound goes to Jace King. 30 seconds left. They'll probably hold for the last shot. I can hear Coach Dick from here. He's all the way on the other side, and I can hear him say last shot. So, 25 seconds. Gets it to Wagstaff. 13. 10 seconds. Wagstaff's going to drive to take the shot. Two points with Wagstaff. Three seconds left. And there it is. That's the first quarter. Lampkins 21. Legacy 16. Lampkins has scored. Joe Cottingham is leading the way with 10 points. Jamar Mitchell has 6. Luke Wexler has 5. If my math is right, that should be 21 points. No guarantees up here. We need Tarver up here. Where you at, Tarver? Coach James Tarver, mathematician wizard. Statistician extraordinaire. He would keep you straight, but that's all right. We'll roll with it. So Lampkins is up five after one. Like I said, this will likely be a very different game than it was the first time around, where the Lampkins blew the lightning out of the water. Playoffs records don't matter. We're just playing ball tonight. Legacy has started with the ball in the second quarter. Nathan's rattling with the ball. Forward with the drive, gets it spreadling. Nothing there. Dom thought about the three. Tight defense by Bryce Spreadling. Shot up and no good. Rebound Wagstaff. Gets to the corner. Going the other way. He thought the drive thought better of it. Gets to the Wagstaff. 
Not sure who that was going to. But Cunningham with the steal. Maybe. No, he doesn't need to control it. Over to Dom. Corner shot, Spradling. No good. Rebound's going to go to Andrew, and he's got a fast break. He's going to have to slow it up because they have no numbers. This is Jay's. Nikki in the corner. Go back to King. Over to Andrew, to Joe, down to Luke. The cutter. Nothing there. King recovers. A couple of good moves. 18-foot shot is up, and no good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. Nikki has the shot. Sides against it. Luke will shoot it. Doink. I shouldn't say that. He missed. Here come the lightning. Ward in the corner. Move it around. And then Spradling, who takes a drive. Layup. Two point spread. I can see the first one on the board in the second quarter. Here come the Lampkins. King is the Cottingham. He's going to drive. Ends off the corner for three. Short. Rebound goes to Lightning. They got a fast break. Lampkins are just not getting back at all. Coach Dick is going to get into somebody. He's going to get into Wagstaff in a big way. He's going to take a full timeout. The Achilles heel of Fort Collins Lampkins is they don't transition very well. They don't get back on defense, and that hurt her on that play. And Coach Dick didn't like it at all and immediately called timeout. So Legacy comes out with a 4 run. Tighten up the ball game, 21-20. So Coach Dick takes a full minute to settle the troops and get them back on track here. Let's see if he brings Jamar back in the ball game. We'll check the lineup for the Lampkins. It's Nikki, Jace, Andrew, Joe Cottingham, and Luke Wagsa. Looks like they're going to set up some sort of trap. Before Collins' ball. They're anticipating some sort of a half-court trap by Legacy. But I think they're just in a straight man, so I don't know. I could be guessing. I'm guessing wrong. They're just in a straight man. King gets it over to Wagstaff. Over to Nikki. Gets it over to King. Drive. Jump stop. Shot. Blocked. Tried to be safe. It's going to be off of King. It's going to be Legacy Ball. Six minutes left in the quarter. Six minutes till halftime. Spreadling looking for the back door. Cut off. Almost stolen by King. Somebody better help him out. There's Cottingham to the rescue. Works over to Nikki, gets over to King. Looking down low for Luke, he's not there. Jace with the drive, down to Luke. He's going to be doubled. Jace with three point shot. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Legacy. King's shot is off. Great shooting night the other night. He's coming back to reality, and hopefully he gets it going here in a minute. Ward with the drive, dumps off the Spradling, two points. Legacy takes the lead. King in the corner, down to Wagstaff. Stolen. It's a two-on-one break. Nicky takes the charge. Good charge taken by Nicky McGuire. It's going to be a turnover, Legacy ball. He tried to strip it to no avail, and then he took the charge right in the chest, and he sits down. Jamar Mitchell back in the ball game. King with the ball. We're gonna have five minutes left in the quarter. Five minutes till halftime. Down to Mitchell. Corner with the drive. Almost got it stolen. Gets it to Wagstaff. Almost stolen again. King needs to get going if the Lampkins have any shot at this. Jamar down to Luke. He's wide open. Two point shot. It's good. Wagstaff with two. That's the first points for the Lampkins. They went almost 
four minutes without a basket in the second quarter. Spradling, looking underneath, not there, up the ward. Backdoor cut, not there. Looking underneath, nothing. Ward with the drive on King. Stops. Stuck. Spins, hit a break, hit an opening, Andrew gets a rebound. Black staff thought about three, but gave it to King. Passed it to Cottingham. He walked. Turnover. Legacy ball. Nicky McGuire is going to check back in the ball game. He's going to give Jamar a break, which is interesting. Maybe Jamar's not feeling good or something, because well, Nicky's doing a good job, but I'm not sure with the rotation pattern right now. But we'll take it. We're going with what we go with. Maybe they like the small, quick lineup. Harpering down low, shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Harpering. This is again. Look at the Lankins. I think he gets the ball. Gets it to Luke. He's going to drive. He's got Cottingham wide open. Backdoor cut. It's fouled. Reach in foul on Bryce Spreadling. That'll be the fifth team foul for the Lightning. Jamar Mitchell quickly checks back into the game. For Nikki, they're going to do some offense defense, it looks like. Jamar may have some fouls. It's hard to tell because they don't put the numbers on the board for who has like how many fouls. Look at Jamar gets a poke. Return, double team. Shot on the way. Block. Foul. They thought they got it clean. They may have a case. Either way, they didn't call it that way. They went with Jamar getting hit on the elbow, and it's going to be two free throws for Mitchell. Lamp gets clinging to a one-point lead with 3.19 until halftime. Shot on the way is good. Mitchell's second attempt is good as well. Don't take a seat. Nikki, I'll check back in the ball game. Legacy springing up slowly. They're in no hurry. Trying to settle the troops a little bit. Dumped in the ward. Looking around, trying to find somebody. Nothing there. Dumps over to Rainier. Cut down low. Uh, mishandled out of bounds. It's going to be left and ball. Had a little heat on that pass. Jamar Mitchell checks back in the ball game. Three minutes exactly until halftime. Corner is going to bring it up. Let's see what the Lampkins can do against this man to man defense. They had some success with some backdoor cuts earlier, but they're not there anymore. Legacy made the adjustment. King with three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Cottingham. Hands it off the corner. Lampkins can't make an outside shot at all. Backs up with the rip move. Jamar with the shot. Rebounds Jamar. Gets his own miss. Rebounds again. Lampkins control the rebound. Wagstaff tipped it out the corner. He's going to Wagstaff for three. Not good either. They can't buy a bucket from outside of about three feet. Lopez had a head of steam, but stuck against it. Ward with the shot. It's no good. He's going to rebound to the Mitchell. Jamar's going to bring up himself and see if he's going to take the drive. Poked away, it's going to be out of bounds, and it will be off of Jamar's knee. It's going to be legacy ball. And Jamar takes a seat. Nikki's going to come in for some defense. 2.06 until half. Joey Delesinski's. Skinskis. He's going by Joey again tonight. He checked into the ball game. That's why I brought his name up. Somehow Wagstaff's on him. The switch. Bryce Bradling with the pump. Knocked away by Cunningham. King has the ball. Gets it over to Andrew. And then here comes the Lampkins. They got numbers. Wagstaff with the drive. Lost tail. Over to Cunningham. Gets it to Nicky. Or to Jace, who's wide open from three. 
There he goes. Case King on the board for three. It was only a matter of time before he got a shot to fall. Quality shot by King. Found his rhythm. Well, that's a sign of things to come. Board up top. 115 left until half. 115. Lightning taking their time. Joey tried to try wax after the no avail. Doms is going to try wax with Cottingham. Up in there. Andrew has a drive. Shot on the way. Good. He got hammered. In the basket. I don't think they called the foul. They just called the timeout, but he got absolutely drilled. Somebody got a shank out there. Lampkins are trying to get some firm grip on the scoreboard. Find the seven of eight. I want to say the Lightning came out with the 6-0 run in the first, coming out of the first quarter and haven't scored since. Lampkins on a 9-0 run of their own. No scoring second quarter. Fifty-five point three seconds left until halftime. Lampkins is going to shake loose of the Lightning, who are a tough team. Eighteen and six is no record to sneeze at. That's a good team. We're going to Lampkins out of the out of the huddle. It's going to be Nikki McGuire, Jace King, Andrew Corner, Joe Cunningham, and Luke Luke Wagstaff. Lightning ball. And here we go. Ward bringing the ball out. Pass and pass back over. He has Joey in the corner. Dump. Looked at three. He's over to Joey. He's passed it out to Ward. The drive by Dump. She's going to be off the side of the backboard and rebounded by Andrew Corner. Lampkins may hold for last shot. We'll see. They're, they are indeed going to hold for last shot. 25 seconds till halftime. See what the Lampkins can get a good shot here. 20. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Trying to find King. Gets it to Wagstaff. 5 seconds. Poked away. Nikki's going to shoot a 3. Oh, and it rattles in and out. No good. Shot at the buzzer doesn't fall, but at halftime we have Fort Collins 30. Legacy. 22. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. We'll be back in just a minute with some stats. Unofficial scoring stats. Lampkins leading the way or leading the way from Lampkins uh, is uh, let me start over. Unofficial stats for the Lampkins. Leading the way is Joe Cottingham with ten. Jamar Mitchell with eight. Luke Wexham with seven. Jay Skin with three and Andrew Corner with two.
unofficially, of course. I may have given him a bucket from Andrew to Jamar, but we're going to go with these stats for right now. Either way, the score at halftime is 30 to 22. Lincoln's playing some good, solid defense. We're going to take a break for a minute. Enjoy the musical stylings of the loudest band in the world, the Fort Collins High School Pep Band. band looks like they're at about a third strength. There's still plenty plenty of volume. horn section here with the they can play and dance at the same time it's very impressive I can barely tie my shoes and stand up out of a chair and these guys are dancing while they're playing horns this is beautiful Pretty good crowd on hand. Pan a little bit up there. Legacy brought some fans. Fort Collins side is pretty well filled up. A few students here, not an overwhelming amount, but a good showing. Fill in a little bit. And you see the band. There's your panoramic view of the crowd today. Lightning ready for the second half action. And the Lampers are going to come out as well. 
Just a couple minutes till we get going in the second half. Well played first half. Not a ton of fouls. I don't think either team made it to the bonus. Hopefully the referees stay consistent. Either consistently good or consistently bad. As long as they're consistent, we can handle it. I'd say they did a pretty solid job in the first half, though. in just about one minute. Shout out to all the fans out there watching. Live the Sports Network. Really appreciate it. Mike and Mella Brady watching from Fort Collins. Appreciate you always tuning in. The Hall family. Scott, Christy, Brady, and Cassidy watching from Timnith. Maybe all four of them are watching. Maybe a couple of them. You never know. Cheering on the Lampkin alum. Christy Hall, cheering at her alma mater. Patty and Jerry McGuire tuning in from Omaha, Nebraska. We have, I'm told Jamar Mitchell's grandparents who live in Minnesota are tuning in. And Luke Waxstaff's grandparents who live in Kansas City, but do some winter time in Arizona or tuned in as well, so thanks for watching. If any questions, concerns, want to give a shout out, hit me on the live chat if you have the ability to. I'll make sure and give you your proper recognition. And we're just about ready to start the second half. It will be Lampkin Ball. 16 minutes to decide who makes it to the Denver Coliseum's lead eight. Lincoln started out with Wagstaff getting the ball up top. Over to King. Corner. Jason King thought about it. The lob in the Wagstaff to throw it high. Luke controls it. It's two points, Luke Wagstaff. Kept it real high. Dumped it in. That was a pretty good shot. A little better than pretty good. That was real good. Spradling the other way, in and out. Rebound goes to Wagstaff. King goes the other way. Looking for numbers. Nobody's there. Jamar Mitchell with the jump hook. Two points, Jamar. Jamar gets in deep there, and it's tough to stop. And the Lampkins are quickly up by 12. And it'll be reflected on the scoreboard momentarily. Bradling trying to find a drive, gets tripped, dumps it off. Lopez on the Harpering. Poke by Wack or uh, Jamar, but nothing there. Ward, he has it up top, looking for somebody to help. Lopez pump fake. Spreadling's their go-to guy, Bryce Spreadling, I should say. Trying to dump out the Ward, he couldn't get a handle on it. Does. Tight defense by corner, playing solid defense all night. The dribble drive, cut off, stop. Thank you, the defensive stand is impressive. Gets a rousing ovation from the crowd. 
The double team, nothing there. In the corner, it's going to be shot. No good. Rebound, Wax have. Corner almost got stolen. Gets it to King. The hang, the double pump, the shot. Two points, Jace King. The silky smooth Zohan move. Timeout on the floor is going to be Legacy. Afraid to make this a blowout. Glam because they're taking control early in the second half. Lampkins come out on a 6-0 run. 5.55 left in the third quarter. Lampkins find themselves up 14, 36-22. As the Legacy Lightning coach. That's not listed in the program, I'm sorry. They got their AD principal, athletic secretary, and trainer, but they don't have the coach's name. Anyway, he decides he's going to try to sell down the troops. Fort Collins is coached by the one and only Bruce Dick. Legendary college, high school coach in Colorado. Over 700 wins for Mr. Dick. Coach Dick. And it's going to be legacy ball. Lakers come with King Corner, Cottingham, Mitchell, and Blackstaff. Legacy working the ball around Ward. Get it to Spreadling. Trying to dump it down. Nothing there. Takes baseline. Cut off. Lopez with the pump fake. Goes. Just gets it poked. It's almost stolen. Controlled by Legacy. Coach Dixon going to lose his mind over there. Too bad we didn't have the program or the camera on him. Ward with the hang. The shot. No good. It's going to be off the... I thought it was over the back, but either way, it's going to be before it comes ball. Luke's complaining. Play the game, bro. I know he went over your back, but forget about it. Tomorrow with the ball looking inside. Can't get it. Gets it over the corner. Cunningham. Lob down the wax down. Backdoor cut. Not there. It was a foul on the floor before the backdoor cut. So four cons went away from the back door because Legacy kind of cut it off. Let's see if they can get back into it. Xander was wide open on that one. Either way, it was a foul on the floor. First team foul for the Lightning. 5-14 left in the half. Cutting in for three, no good. Tipped out to King. Corner controls it. I said 5-15 left in the half. Is it left in the third quarter? Ward takes it. Bounce it off his leg. Or somebody got a hand on it. It's going to be stay right here with the Lightning. Third quarter action. Lightning looking for a lob to Harpering. Gets it. Two points. Ari Harper. Jamar on the wing. Gets it on to Cottingham. Tries to spin him. No, he gets it out to Jamar. The drive. Hang. Shot. It's going to be a fall. I don't know what they call it. A charge on Jamar. That's going to get Nikki off the bench real quick. Since they're not putting fouls on the board, I can't tell how many Jamar has, but that may be his third foul. Nicky was off the bench pretty quick there. Lightning bring it up. The hand off the spreadling. He walked. They're going to call a foul. In the basket. They said it was on the shot. So, Bryce Spreadling with two points in the basket. Two points and the foul. Who goes line for one shot? So he has a chance to get the, the lead down to single digits. Bradley's free throw attempt is good. So the lead is nine for the Lampkins. King brings the ball up. It's the Nicky over the corner. Shot on the way is going to be good. Nothing but net. Andrew Corner with the big shot. They're going to leave him, up, leave him wide open. You might as well shoot that. The drive. He walked. No call. We have a legal screen. 
or walk, and it's going to be Lampkin Ball. Makeup call, maybe. Either way, 4.06 left until the end of the third. King brings the ball, taking his man one-on-one. -on -one. Not there. Gets it over to Nicky. He's going to set up. Gets it to the corner. He's got wide open from three again. Short. Rebound goes to Nicky. Over to King. He's going to shoot a 19-footer. Not there. Good block out by Joey. And a foul on Cottingham. First station foul. So that's a Lampkin's third team foul. 344 left in the period. Dom checks in the ball game for Legacy. He's going to give Bryce Spradling a breather. Ward gets the ball inbound, and here he comes against the man to man defense of the Lampkins. Dom thought about it, put it on the ground. The drive, the pick, the roll wasn't there, but he has an easy shot, not there. Got his own rebound, and the shot on the way is good. Or no, the shot did not go. Foul on Cottingham, I believe. Fourth team foul for the Lampkins. Sends, I think that's 10. Bryce Bradling, yeah, number 10, Bryce Bradling to the line for two shots. First free throw attempt is short. 3.29 until the end of the quarter. Tomorrow's going to check in. He'll give Nicky a break. Offense, defense section. I don't know. He's giving Cunningham a break. He's got, Cunningham has a couple fouls he's going to have to worry about. So Spreadling, the Nathan Spreadling variety, is on the line. This shot is short. It's going to be rebounded by Mitchell. And here come the Lampkins. Nikki looking down to Jamar. Has the eight footer, got his arm hit. And a foul. I don't know if this is going to be on the shot or on the ground. It's lined up for free throw, so it's on the shot. Not sure what the delay is. Somebody's checking in, they're not letting them. They can't come in until after the first free throw anyway. So Jamar, Mit Jamar Mitchell to the line for two shots. First free throw attempt is good. And the second free throw attempt is on the way in. Good as well. Jamar solid on the line. Okay, Nelmer's going to check it for Jamar. Give him a breather. 316 left. Lampkins find themselves up 14 points. Still looking to kind of shake the legacy lightning away. But this is a good team, and they're not going to go easy. Dom drives. Has a lane on K number with the foul basket. Two points. Brandon Domps. And he'll have a free throw. Sometimes you see that with guys coming off the bench, they're not at game speed yet. And then they got to guard the guy right away and he picked up a quick call. Free throws don't get rebounded. Wagstaff. I think he's going to bring it up. Gets it over to Jays. Andrew to Caden. Almost stolen. Controlled by... It'll be Fort Collins ball. Two fifty left in the quarter. Inbound into King. Nikki's looking under the Wagstaff. Not there. Over to Andrew. Gets the white stuff on the lob. Down the Caden. Up the King. Cut through. Kid Jace is wide open. Not there. Andrew's going to have a wide open shot. To drive. King cut right. Andrew through a left. Turnover. Legacy ball. 221 left in the quarter.
Bradling with the ball. Backdoor cut it off of that Cadence to put. It's going to stay right here with the Lightning. Legacy on the ball. Doms. Spradling. Back to Nathan Spradling. Over to Harpering. This Joey guy tries to give in the go to Harpering. He brings it low, gets it caught. Wide open shot for three is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff, who gets to the corner. Who gets fouled by Nathan Harpering, or Nathan Spradling. So this is going to be the second, third team foul for the Lightning with 149 left in the quarter. So Cottingham and Mitchell are going to come back in the game for Nikki McGuire and Caden Elmore. So half court man, they're going to pick him up at the half court line. Lampkins have the starters back in the ball game. Stolen. Joey drives. King tried to spot it. Layup. Two points. Joey. And the foul by Doms. Could ill afford to have a foul 90 feet away from the basket, but he did. 14 foul by the Lightning. And they're going to come in with some full court action. I don't know if they're just going to do some full court pressure and then fall off, or let's see, they're just going to fall back into the man. Not trapping just yet. King Probin gets it over to Cottingham. Over to Jamar. Trying to get inside to Luke, but he's not there yet. This is the Wagstaff. The quick move. The baseline cut. Shot on the way. It's no good. Rebounds Jamar. Luke with the rebound, and he's fouled. He's going to get him over the back. So foul on Luke Wagstaff will give Lakers lightning the ball with eight, 108 left in the quarter. And Nikki and Caden are off the bench real quick for Joe and Jamar. So the Lampkins got out to a 6-0 run and then they only scored 5 cents. Low scoring affair here at the Lamp Shack. Bryce Bradling with the long three-point shot. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Joey. He's going to drive. He gets fouled. No, it's stolen. Chase came with the ball. Probe, but that nothing there. Gets it over to Luke. He's going to drive. King. Bumped. Shot on the way. Two points, Chase King. Something's going on with the cameraman. Thirty seconds till the end of the quarter. Harpering with the shot. No, no, no. Rebound goes to King. Or, I'm sorry, Wagstaff. And Andrew's going to come up. It's going to be last shot time. Twenty seconds left until the end of the quarter. Lampkins find themselves up twelve. Chase is going to take his time. We're at ten seconds. Here we go. Gets it to Nikki. Five seconds. Four. Andrew with the drive. Foul. Walk. He got hammered. Either way, they call it. We call a walk with 0.4 seconds left. Andrew got hand, hammered like he's getting hit by a 76 Nova. They call it travel. That's a turnover. Oh, they don't call it. He missed out the ball and hit it on the baseline. That should be Lampkin ball, but it's not. So at the end of three, it's your four counts. Lampkin's 43. Legacy Lightning 31, you're watching the Lampkin Sports Network.
unofficial stats, of course. After three quarters of play, Luke Wagstaff leads Lankins with 11 points. Jamar Mitchell and Joe Cottingham both have 10. Chase King has 7. And Andrew Corner has 5. Don't take that to the bank, though. This guy's trying to do the camera and the stats. And your excellent commentary all at the same time. Multi-talented, of course, in my own mind. Legacy's going to come out with the ball. It's going to be on the floor for the It's going to be Nicky McGuire, Jace Kane, Andrew Corner, Luke Wagstaff, and Caden Elmore. Spreadling with the drive. Shot on the way is going to be two points. Legacy comes out with a quick basket. Nicky with the ball. Gets it over to Coach. We got a timeout on the floor. Coach Dick. So let's get that two points on the board for the Lightning. It's going to be a... Ten-point ball game with 7.39 left in the half. Or 7.39 left in the game. Sydney Stokes is out there watching tonight. Thanks, Sydney. That's his last name. It's Kings for a reason. The kids can flat out shoot the ball. If he gets hot, this game's over in a hurry. Feel the left because I'm feeling in control. Up by 10. Still in the ball game. Chicken line for the Lambkins. It's going to be their starters. King, Corner, Cottingham, Mitchell, and Wagstaff. King gets the ball in the inbound. Corner trying to find some room. Can't. The drive. Get it to Jamar with the give and the go. The pump fake. He gets hammered. They think it's all ball and he got hammered by three different guys. They can call it any one of them. Not sure who they're going to call it on. It's going to be the, the fifth team foul for the Legacy Lightning. And Jamar's going to go to the line for two shots. First free throw attempt is good. Any kind of game like this, especially in the playoffs, it comes down to free throws. A little bit early to be calling that yet, but especially in the last three minutes, it's all about the free throws. Tomorrow's second free throw attempt is good. The handoff. Bradley gets it over to... The shot short. Who got bumped? He didn't get called. Jamar has the ball calling for help from a guard. Here comes Andrew Corner. He goes over to Jace. He's going to drive. Behind the back. Gets it to Cottingham. He's going to drive. Hangs. Shot. No good. Rebound to Wagstaff. Shot on the way for Luke Wagstaff. He's good for two. The strong rebound and put back by Wagstaff. Puts the length up 14. With 740. Or 6.40 left in the game, I'm sorry. Followed by Jamar. He's going to go to the bench. Almost assuredly. That's who's on. Either way, Brandon Thompson is going to go to the line for a 1-1 one one maybe. That's a 17 foul by the Lampkins. So it's 1-1 one one at least. Maybe a two-shotter. Who knows? They haven't given any indication yet. Looks like we had a hurt lightning on the floor, so they had to take a break for a second. 642 left in the contest. This will be a one and one. Free throw attempt on the way is good. Second free throw attempt is good as well. Legacy's going to try to put some nominal pressure on. 
And then they fall back into their man to man. Andrew Corner's going to bring the ball up. Over to Jamar, is looking in for Luke. Gets it there. But nothing there. He's going to spin him. Gets it out to Jace, from wide open from three. Three point shot, Jace King. Life gets about 15. Ward tries to get to Harpering. But Jamar knocks it away. It's going to be lightning ball. Lining up ball underneath. They're going to try to lob it. Gets it to Doms. Ward with the drive. Jamar joins the paratrooper club. He blocks it. Great defense by the Lampkins. Wagstaff thought about three, but then he decides to drive. Gets over to Cottingham. He'll try from three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Spradling. He's going to take it the other way himself. Joey gets it down to Ward. He drives on Wagstaff. Layup, good. Two points, Isaac Ward. So Lampkins come the other way. Looking for Wagstaff, not there. Cottingham almost threw it away, but the King recovers. Almost stolen. Wagstaff has a lane. He gets it on Jamar, but it's stolen. The crafty move. The bounce pass. The spread link is bumped away by Cottingham. Good defense by the Lampkins. 5-10 left in the game. 5-10. And we have a timeout on the floor. So at 5-10 left in the contest, your four counts line against 50. Legacy Lightning 37. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. If you like what you hear, like the content, or the commentary, or any of the above, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate it. guy's looking for some better graphics. Lots to talk by Sydney Silks and Eric Schneider on the Lampion Sports Network. Go Lampions. What is it Jay's good at? Thanks, Sydney. Appreciate the sentiments. The hard part about being up here is I can't crack jokes like I did during the Unified game, but that's all right. A little too fast, fast paced here. I'll try to mix in one or two, though. Legacy ball underneath. Trying for the cross, hand off to Ward. Tries to shoot it, left-handed won't go to Marmot to a three-bound. He's going to get out to Andrew, he's going to bring it up. Lampkins need to just slow it down and run some offense. The clock is their friend. They're going to get trapped by Wagstaff. He gets it up, but he's going to be fouled by Bryce Spreadling. And that's going to be the sixth team foul by Legacy. Their next team foul will be a 101 bonus for the Lampkins. Slip in for the Lightning. Lopez checking in the ballgame for Doms. Billy. Billy. That. Two points by Jamar Mitchell. Sorry. Either way, we got a foul on the other end. And Nathan Spreadling is going to go to the line for two shots. Couldn't tell who's got two that fouls on because Aragon's running the clock over there. Keith's a good guy.
We won't say anything about his clock kicking skills, though. We'll just let that linger. Second attempt is no good. Rebound goes to Jamar. He's trapped. We got a tie up. It's going to be a jump ball. And it will be four Collins ball. 439 left in the game. 439 left in your contest. Lampkins finds themselves up 14 points. Legacy's going to get a little bit desperate and go with the full court pressure. Let's see what the Lampkins do to break it. Gives it to wax half back to Andrew, and then they're going to fall back into their man to man defense. So they're going to pressure the inbound, but then they're going to fall back, it looks like, at this point. Try to drive corners if they can. Jamar gets the ball over to Jace. He's going to take the three point shot in the corner. It's going to be good. Jace King for three. The Lampkins go as King goes sometimes. Ooh, scoop shot. Nice shot by that dude. Nathan Spradling with the scoop shot and two points. Didn't think it had a chance. Corner brings the ball up. Try to get a pick from Luke. Nothing there. Four minutes left in the game. Four minutes. Wakes up with the ball up top. Over to Mitchell. Stolen. Jump ball. It's going to be legacy ball. Drive gets it down. Pump fake, nothing there. Jamar with the tough defense, but he slipped through. Two points, Isaac Ward. Quickly in the king, he's going to get it to. Oh, he turns it over. Two more points for Fredling. Lampkins are going to need a TO. But they don't. And a foul. So four quick points. Jo- Joey picks up the foul. Lampkins are going to go to the line for a one and one. That was the 17th foul from Legacy. Andrew Corner finds himself at the line with three, 24 left in the ball game. Free throw attempt is no good. Rebound goes to Wagstaff, though. Gets it to King, or Cottingham on the cut. Two point to Cottingham. Assist goes to Luke Wagstaff. Spradling with the drive. Body. Caught him with the foul. He's going to go live for two shots. I don't know how many that's on Cottingham, but he's got to be getting close to five. But at this point, they're going to let him ride because there's only 3.10 left in the ball game. Bryce spreading to line. Trying to look to... Oh, yeah. I'm all confused. Two, he had two free throws. First one missed. First time in a long time we had a foul that didn't result in a three-point attempt. Three-point play. Shot on the way is going to be good. I'm going to get the ball in quickly to King, and then he said it's going to clear out. Gets it to Luke way up top. Over to Andrew. He's going to drive over to Waxaf. Gets it to Demar. He's going to have an easy two points. Two points to Mar Mitchell. That's how it's done, fellas and folks and ladies and gentlemen. The fourth shot goes. Joey gets two points. Mark's up with the ball. He's going to have to dribble it up. Off to the stone. He, he walks. The crowd influenced the walk. He wasn't going to call it. Now Luke's going to cry. Don't get a T, bro. He pleaded his case to no avail. They weren't going to overturn the call. Frustrated. But it's going to be legacy ball underneath. 2.33 left in the contest. Spreading with the ball over to Joey. Ward has it. And we have a moving screen on number three. Rainier. The player control foul won't lead to a one and one so it'll be Lampkin ball underneath. King gets the ball. He's going to blow by everybody. Two on three. Three on two. Jamar Mitchell for two more points. That was pretty simple. 
He overloads the top and got Jamar down low. Nathan Spradling with the drive and the foul. Who goes the line for, I think, two shots. Because that's the Lampkin 10 team foul. Nathan Spradling takes his time at the line. 2.13 left in the contest. Free throw attempt is good. Guy's not afraid to take his time. You get, you get 10 seconds up there, you might as well use it. And he drains it. Put a whistle on the floor and then. Timeout. Legacy's coach calls a full timeout. So with 2.13 left in the game, Park on 61. Legacy Lightning 49. Lampkins are again playing good defense tonight. 49 points given up in just a little bit under 30 minutes of play. So solid defense by the Lampkins. Find themselves up by 12. Like I said about five minutes ago, it's going to come down to free throws if the Lampkins are going to pull away. They're, they're not in any danger at this point. Feeling pretty good about themselves. But I'm sure Legacy's going to start falling. And Lampkins can seal this game with some well-made free throws. Full court action. Let's see what the Lampkins do to combat it. And a whistle. They're just kidding. Coach Dick has an issue. He's telling them like it is. Not sure what the issue is. Lampkins trying to inbound the ball. He's at the wax staff. Back to the corner. Here he comes with a full head of steam. They're going to follow him. They don't. Down to Jamar. Two more points to Jamar Mitchell. Jamar's got eight points in the last few minutes just on that same shot. Joey from three. So it's no good. He's going to be rebounded by corner. He's going to break three. He gets trapped. He's going to foul. 1.52 left in the game. This is all but over. Legacy's overloading on the trap, and they're getting caught. We're getting burned on the three on two or two on one on the other side. Legacy's are a few free throws away from sealing the deal here. Andrew Corner on the line for two shots, and Luke got in early. Lane violation. Uh, there's only a one and one now. Next team foul for Legacy will be a double bonus. But they're not there yet. Legacy bringing the ball up. The drive, he gets tripped, fouled. They call it travel. I'm no Legacy fan, but that was a foul. Way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Wagstaff gets the ball inbound. Back to corner. He's going to be trapped. He gets it to Wagstaff. They need help. Tomorrow comes way out of top. Over to... Cottingham in the corner, he's going to drive. The hang, the shot, the layup, two points Joe Cottingham. Joey with the drive. Spreadling, thought about three, then thinks again and shoots it short. It's going to be rebounded by Rainier with the two points. Oh, showtime. Joe Cottingham with the slam dunk. Just over a minute left. I'll update the score in just a second. And we have a timeout.
So the score is correct. 104 left in the game. It's going to be Fort Collins 67, Legacy 51. Coach Dick takes a full timeout. He didn't like something he saw out there. He's going to call a full timeout, which is a minute. Oh, he changed it to a 30. 30 second timeout. Lincoln's are in firm control of this ball game. 104 left in the game. It's all but over. Lancaster can start making plans down to play down in Denver in the Coliseum in the Elite Eight. Depending on what's happening over at Fossil Ridge right now, it could be an all city matchup. Fossil Ridge versus Fort Collins. We'll find out. Checking into the game for the Lampkins is number one, Nicky McGuire. Jason Gaines going to get a well-deserved break. He played the whole game and played well. Looks like there was a technical foul, maybe. Huh? I don't know who I don't know who the T is on. But Legacy's on the line with nobody around, and he makes the first one. Isaac Ward. Could have been on Coach Dick, maybe. Both free throws go for Legacy. And they get the ball. Unless Jace got the tee, because he's the only one who came out of the ball game. Not sure what happened. We'll find out later. Either way, it's going to be Legacy ball. Down 14 with just over a minute left in the game. Drive, cut off. Turnaround shot is going to be good. I think he gets it to Luke. Crosses half court. Gets it back to Nikki. Over to Andrew. Legacy doesn't look like they're even going to foul. Backdoor cut by Cottingham. Rebound. Tomorrow, no good. Here comes Ward the other way. Quickly up to Joey. Takes a three-point shot, but it's fouled by Cunningham. 27.5 seconds left in the ball game, and here come the subs. So we'll have a full contingent of Lampkins coming in. The ref called timeout. He shouldn't have. They don't, they're going to sub everybody in. Uh, checking in the ball game for the Lampkins. Jackson Volkshead, Trey Young, Andrew Guzman, Alex Guzman, Henry Peterson, and number 10, who I don't know. Sorry, somebody they just brought up. Either way, I think this guy's got three, three shots. First free throw attempt is no good. Joey. The Lesinskians. I'm going to butcher his name. I, I wanted to get it right once. D-E-L-E-S-C-I-N-S-K-I-S. That is a mouthful. But he goes by Joey, and he missed both so far. Third free throw attempt on the way is no good as well. He missed all three. Out of bounds will be Lampkin Ball. Trey Young will inbound the ball. I apologize, they don't know number 10's name. Throws it up for turnover. Here comes Legacy. Thought about the three, but doesn't. The drive, shot, no good. Rebound's going to go to Legacy. Shot, foul. 16.9 seconds left of the game. Going to the line for Legacy. Rylan Wise, a junior. I believe that's 34. They don't have a 24, so it's 34. Wise to the line. He'll get two shots. First one goes. Marco Sanchez Ferguson checking into the ball game for Henry Peterson. They wanted to get everybody a chance. Playing some state playoff action, even if it's just for a few seconds, which is really cool. 
Second free attempt is off. It's going to be rebounded by 10. He's just going to, they could just dribble it out. 12 seconds left in the ball game. This game is over. Porcon doesn't even need to do anything. DeMarco's going to shoot a three, though. He'll miss. They can see going the other way. One second. There's the buzzer. And there you have it. The Lampkins hold serve. Take away the season from the Legacy Lightning and end it right here on the Lampkin floor. The Lamp Jack was rocking tonight. Final score Fort Collins, 67. Legacy Lightning, 56. Stay tuned for some nominal stats that I hopefully are right, but probably are wrong. But I'll do the best I can. Hold on. what I have, it'd still be ballpark, of course, because I'm four points off, sorry. Lead the way for the Lampkins tonight is going to be number 42, Jamar Mitchell with 18 points, followed by Joe Cunningham with 16, Jace Kink chipped in with 13, Luke Wexeff had 11, and Andrew Corner had 5. And there's four mysterious points out there somewhere that I don't know what happened to. So either way, we're fine. So there you have it, folks. The Lampkins are heading to the Elite Eight down at the Denver Coliseum. I'm not sure if we'll be able to broadcast that action down there. We'll see, but the chances are unlikely. But if I can do it, I will. So from all of us here at the Lampkin Sports Network, we appreciate you tuning in tonight to watch the Lampkins pull out a victory on their final game at the Fort Collins Lamb Shack of the year. Since week 16 bound, hopefully against Fossil Ridge, we'll see. Pay attention to your Twitter handle, Instagram, or you can email me directly at livekinsportsnetwork at gmail.com or check maps, maxpreps.com for the next game. It's been a great season on the Lincoln Sports Network if this is the last one, which it probably is. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to try to do some track coming up. They start next week. And maybe some baseball. So we'll see what happens. So there you have it. Four Collins pulls out the victory. You've been watching the Life Gets Worth Network in association with Nighthawk Burgundy Productions. Have yourself a great afternoon and a great night. See you next time on the Life Gets Worth Network. Take care. Over and out.